Hey my Pokey peeps, so today is the mark of 12 days until Christmas, which is pretty exciting. I have to admit, I'm excited. I love Christmas. Christmas is amazing, so much fun. Everyone gets together and it's really just a lovely experience. Lots of great food. So I hope you guys will join me in the festivities and some Christmas themed Pokemon battles. So first of all, we have a so I'm sure we all know the little limerick the, on the 12 days of Christmas my true love gave to me. So to start off, we have a partridge in a pear tree. Now unfortunately there's no real partridge Pokemon as far as I could find, but I decided I'd grab some sort of bird Pokemon and they could be our partridges and then I got some sort of tree Pokemon and they're going to be our pear tree. So we have an unpheasant there. Pretty weird set, got the Hypnosis on there, in case we get lucky or desperate, uh, and then we can work up and sort of do some shenanigans that way. Then we have the Pidgeot, Life Orb, super strong, just a basic set as well. And then we have our Farfetch, this one's a bit more of a setup set, haven't given it a shot yet, but hopefully it works out pretty well. And then we have a Focus Sash, Shift Tree. This I'm pretty excited about. Shifter is actually a really strong Pokemon. I think it just gets forgotten about because it's, well, it's not really that amazing in comparison to other Pokemon that do similar things. But then we have our Trevenant, another one of our pear trees. Bit of a strawly set, but also capable to set up. Got the Harvest and the Aguar Berry just to sort of help along with any longevity that it might need. And then we've got the Exeggutor here. We've got the Gravity and Hypnosis. This is not actually the set that I was going to run. Initially, I was going to make a doubles team with Gravity Hypnosis on both the Unpheasant and Exeggutor. The Swords Dance on here, and then the Psych Up on a few other Pokemon. But unfortunately, Gravity Hypnosis is banned in all doubles up until Ubers, so that just wasn't going to happen. But we've got this set instead, super strong, got the harvest on there, so definitely going to be living some hits. Uh, if we get the gravity off and hypnosis, we're doing fine. So let's see how we go with our partridge in a pear tree. Alrighty guys, so I'm pretty happy with this team. Uh, only thing I'm slightly worried about is the... Hmm, Swanner? I think the Swanner's going to cause some grief. Uh, maybe even like a Choice Scarfed. What's, what's my name? Scarfed? Maybe the Seeking? Choice Seeking? I think that works. Right, let's chuck the timer on. Alrighty, so, exactly what I didn't want to happen. We got a Swanner coming out against us. I'm going to go for a Horn Leech. He goes for Brave Bird. That takes us out. Swanner, super strong Pokemon in this generation. Okay, so I'm going to go into Shift Tree here. I know I can live at least one, so I'm just going to go for a Seed Bomb here. He very well switches out. If he switches out, we get a big hit on something. So Jugon comes in, and that does a fairly large chunk. I'm going to swap into Unpheasant here. Because he goes for Fake Out. And then probably like an Aqua Jet. But we can go for a Hypnosis here. Maybe the Corsola coming in. Um, I can't see it staying in and sacrificing itself. If we sleep the Corsola, that would be great. Because then I can just go into anything really. Yeah, so it does go into the Corsola we missed though. Um, I'm going to go for the Hypnosis again. We miss again. What does he go for? Stealth Rocks, okay. So unfortunately, we sort of just messed up. Pretty big. Alright, 60% accuracy is not our friend. Let's see if we can get 33% accuracy. I feel like there's things like Rindo Berry or something along those lines. Uh, but I'm, I'm in a terrible spot after getting Rocks up. One more chance. Okay, we hit it for once. Perfect. Now, I'm going to go into my shift tree. Hopefully doesn't get a first turn wake. Goes straight into Jellicent. 
I'm actually okay with that. Um, I feel like Seed Bomb's gonna do a lot. Wow, it's a very defensive Jealousy. Like, that's a very defensive Jealousy. Um, let's get a Sword Stance up. What's he gonna go for? Recover. That's fine. I feel like it has to attack now. Well, let's go for a Sword Stance here. He goes into Dugong. That's fine. Fake out. And potentially Aqua Jet. So, Fake out coming out here. That doesn't do that much. Aqua Jet next, maybe. Or does he switch? Yeah, switches into Corsola. Was the Rindo Berry? That's funny. Um, yeah, so he's just gonna sort of cycle his fake out, I think. Yeah, so he's gonna bring um, Jugon back in now. Go for the fake out. Perfect. He goes for the burn damage, so. Let's just go for a Sucker Punch. I think Aqua Jet's... Oh no, we get priority still. So, we got at least one more Pokemon we can do a fair bit to. So, Seeking coming in. I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch because I feel like it is Scarf. Oh, well played. Well played. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's go into Exeggutor here. What's he likely to do? Sauna on 58%. Let's go for a Psychic. He goes for Shadow Ball. I'm glad I didn't try and set up it because we would have just been a bad, all kinds of bad. Um, let's go for Hypnosis. See if we can hit it. If we hit it, we're in an okay spot. We don't hit it. Maybe we get the Double Harvest. Yay! Okay. Let's go for a bigger Drain here. This should kill, I think, yeah. But, now he's got his Scarfed Swanner. Sorry, not Scarfed Swanner, but just a strong Swanner. Goes for that. If I was him, and I had you turn on the Swanner, that probably would have been my move. I don't think. Let's go into Unpheasant. Now, I kind of want it to sort of kill itself here. Um, maybe we can get a hypnosis off. Alright, we're, we're good here. Pidgeot comes in. Go for a quick attack. Take that out. Then, Seeking. See, I know it's Scarfed. He's just been too confident with it. Let's go for a Brave Bird though, we might live. We do live, doesn't get a flinch, we kill it. Alright, so now it's all up to Farfetch'd taking out a Lapras with Leaf Blade. No, I am. That, I, I'm pretty happy with how that went. I really screwed up with the Unpheasant. Uh, if we didn't have the uh, issue with the rocks getting up, uh, if we just had it hit one out of three hypnosises, we would have been fine, but it took a little bit longer. It was just a little bit hard to do. But let's find another game, see how we go. Alrighty guys, so we found a game here. This one's pretty scary. I think he's gonna lead with Manetric. Um, so I'm gonna lead with my Trevenant here. Um, and I'm gonna go for a Shadow Claw. He stays in, doesn't... Oh, he gets a burn. That makes a big difference. I, I've been very unlucky playing this morning. Like, like there's unlucky, and then there's been what I've had playing. I've been burnt nine times from Flamethrower. Three of which in one game. How does that even happen? How do you get burnt more often with an apparently passive move ridiculous I know I know um, so he can probably go into oh so the Minetric actually has a quick claw okay so our uh, Trevenant goes down there let me go into shift tree here let's go for the sucker punch he probably switches no oh, he just lets his Minetric go down that's great because that's a big threat to my team. Um, well, 
Uh, Drampa comes in here. Okay. Let's go for the Swords Dance. I want to see if we can do this. Because, like... I think, actually, a Drampa and Flamethrower is what screwed me over last time. Okay. Didn't get a burn. We're all good. We're in a good spot. Let's go for a Brick Break here. Uh, only thing... I'm sort of worried about coming in is potentially the um, the skunk tank and the masquerade. The masquerade will definitely kill me, uh, but I think he's also gonna have um, probably like sucker punch or something like that. But let's just go for a brick break here. He just goes for the sucker punch. That's fine. Sort of knew that was happening. I just need to keep my Executor relatively healthy for the Agron. Well, let's go into Farfetch'd here. Let's go for an Agility. Now, if this works, I'll be really, really quite happy. What's he go for? Crunch. Does he get... Oh, you know what would have been awesome? Him getting the... We'll call it the defense lower, giving me my defiant boost. That would have been great. That would have been real, real great. Uh, okay, we can, we're in a good spot. Like, we're not in a bad spot at all. Um, these two are taken out by the um, uh, this one, Executor. So, okay, I'm gonna you turn out. This one should do a fair bit. I think it gonna go for a rock though, potentially. Wow, it had Rocky Helmet, did it? Yeah. So, maybe a Toxic? Just straight up Ice Beam. Well, whoops. Whoops indeed. Uh, okay, so, got a high roll, which sucks. I'm go back into Pidgeotto. Just go for a Brave Bird here, hopefully that kills. I, I can't kill the Aggron now. Um, which sucks, but, you know, all part of life. Actually, we can, but it's going to take a long time. Hmm, what can we do? So, I don't know why he's taking time. He's won this pretty confidently. Uh, we're a bit unlucky there, getting burnt on the first turn. I'm going to go for the impactors here. We hit. That's good. That's very good. Let's go for work up. Okay. Um, because yeah, we would have still had our Trevenant around. He wouldn't have had his his minute trick. Something would have had to come in. I wouldn't have had to be in something else to sponge a hit. Uh, what's he go for? Head smash? He misses. Great. Good start. Let's go for another hypnosis and we miss. Okay. <laughs> that, that was that was my only only options there, I think. Uh, I could have gone for the secret power, getting a paralysis, and then hopefully, but I feel like we would have only been doing about 20% with, with the secret power anyway. Probably not even that. So, unlucky with the burn. Pretty much the only reason he won. <laughs> Just being sure. It's funny, I'm pretty sure I actually versed this team previously, and he got a burn with his Drampa. And then he got a burn with his Manetric. So that was part of the nine burns that I experienced leading up until this video. Two of which were from this guy. Yeah, pretty unfortunate. Alrighty, Pokey Peeps. So hopefully you enjoyed today's Christmas themed video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you did enjoy this video, check out some of my others. I'm sure you'll like them just as much. Anyways, 